Hello, we've previously discussed effective video marketing for business, but how do you actually measure the success of that video content? It's all good and well making these videos, feeling good about yourself and feeling like you're doing right by your business. But videos are made for a purpose, for a reason. They're not a nice to have. Well, they are, but they're there to do a job. I'm gonna give you some tips that will give you a broad general overview of how you can measure the success of your video. Now, obviously, depending on the video, you'll measure it very differently. So an internal training video compared to a product demonstration for the public would be measured very differently. But these top three tips will be eight, will, you can use as a general overview across all different videos. So first I'd like to talk about video retention rates. Video retention is how much of the video someone's watching. You can track this in stuff like Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, and Sprout Video. Only 60% of people, on average, make it to the first minute of video, and only 40% make it to two minutes. People only watch your videos if they're engaging. If it doesn't interest them, they'll switch off. But if you've made a good video that captures your audience, they'll keep watching, and you're much more, li more likely to make a sale from someone who watched a minute than six seconds. Ask your me media provider how the videos are doing. If they're doing well, well done you. If they're not doing well, ask them how they can be improved. But do these video retention rates, do these hits turn into leads or customers? You can also check this through your analytics package. If, for example, you have a video on YouTube and it has 50 hits, and then you get 30 people coming through to your website and either inquiring through an email or buying a product direct from YouTube, that's the video that got you that sale. Now, of course, people can take loads of different call to actions and routes to making a sale, but that's originated with video. If you're getting loads of video hits, but someone isn't buying your product, you need to look at it again. You need to look at, are you marketing it in the most effective way? And finally, I'd like to talk about where are people watching your video from? If, for example, you're a Yorkshire-based business, but everyone's watching your video in London, but your customers are in Yorkshire, well, it isn't working. Are you putting your video in the right places? Are you marketing it to the right people? If you've got a product and you sell it in Leeds, and you sell it simply for Leeds-based businesses, but all your video hits are coming from Sheffield and you're getting no sales, well, you need to look at why you're hitting Sheffield and you're not hitting Leeds. We produce video content for the RSPCA York. We were tasked to try and find a home for seven long stay dogs. Now, really, you need these hits in York. We looked at the, the analytics and 98% of the video hits came from York. The videos had a retention rate of 80 odd percent. And now I'm really happy to say, two months after we made them, all seven dogs have a place they can call home. Now that's effective video marketing that worked, was tracked, and we know why it worked. If those dogs were getting hits down in Northampton, well, they might not have found a home. At Real Film, we aren't just video producers. We're video marketing specialists. It's about after making the video, how you track it, how you implement it, how you tweak it, and if need be, how you change it. Get in touch, we'd love to hear from you.